I'm Beth. I'm going to give people a couple minutes to join and then I'll tell you a little bit about what we're going to talk about tonight. I see a couple more people jumping in. For those of you that are already here and don't know me, my name is Beth Rosa and I'm a, a Master Baby Wearing Educator with Baby Wearing International of Greater Boston and a Becco Ambassador. And I'm coming to you live from my lovely basement sewing studio. So ignore the drop ceiling up there um, and any mess that might be behind me. Uh, tonight we're going to talk about cold weather baby wearing. Since I'm in Boston, I happen to deal with that a fair amount. Um, uh, last winter we had snow that was over my head, even without an upward camera angle, um, and my daughter was born on November the 1st, so I did a fair bit of that last year. Um, we're going to talk a little bit about safety concerns, um, making sure that you maintain baby's airway safely, what options you have or tips and tricks and things you can use, um, just sort of general things like that. Uh, so the, the first big thing is we want to be sure that we're safe and we don't overheat the baby. So the best way to uh, baby wear in cold weather is to put baby in one extra layer of clothes, put you in something comfortable, baby in the carrier, and the coat goes over both of you. It can be any coat you want. It doesn't have to be a special baby wearing coat. Um, I'm going to show you a couple options here in just a second. Um, but my demo doll doesn't have on any uh, extra layers at the moment because they're in my daughter's room and she's sleeping. Um, <laughs> so excuse the, the lack of extra layer on the demo doll. The important thing um, otherwise to keep in mind is if you're going to baby wear uh, in cold weather, a lot of people want to use footy pajamas to help keep everybody warm. You need to be sure they're a little bit too big if you do that. Um, they can catch their toes and kind of curl up in there because they use up all the extra space in um, their bum and over their knees when it curves or when they bend. So one size too big or something other than footy pajamas. So we're going to talk about other things you can use. So I'm going to take my baby and slip her into my Gemini. And this works with any of the um, Becco carriers. All the things that I'm going to show you are fine for uh, any of the carriers, including the ring sling. So baby is, has a nice seat, and I can see baby's face. Um, this particular baby, I don't need the headrest up, so we're going to be right here. So the first thing is baby has cold little feet here. I can take a pair of regular adult socks and slip over all of baby's feet and pants all the way up um, over shoes and things too, which that works really well on bigger kids in order to keep their uh, legs from being exposed. It looks kind of silly, but it works pretty well. Um, another option is baby legs, if you have them. Um, I even grabbed a matching pair. Um, they're just uh, leg warmers. So you can slide those on over baby's feet and legs um, and use those to help keep their socks um, and uh, shoes in place and make sure that their little feet aren't exposed uh, or their legs, especially around their ankles, is what gets to be problematic. So we want to make sure that they're all nice and covered and um, can stay warm. So once we've got baby's toes covered, which you should think about regardless of what kind of coat um, you're wearing. Folks, I'm going to take questions at the end. I can see some of them coming up, um, but I'm a little far from the screen to be able to read them in order to be able to show you guys the carrier. So we'll take questions um, at the end. Um, so those are our basic things for legs and um, feet. Another thing is a lot of people really like to use scarves in the winter, but it can create a problem with the scarf being around the baby's face and cause an airway constriction um, issue or let the fabric fall on them. So it's really best to avoid your scarf. There's not a great way um, to use it, except behind you is fine. So you can tuck the scarf behind your neck if you need extra coverage there and then kind of wrap it around um, this way around the side so that it's still nice and clear for baby's face before you put your coat on. Uh, when it comes to coats there are lots of options. The easiest thing is just to grab a coat that's a little bit big. Um, my husband is a little bit bigger than I am so I have one of his coats and I can slip it on right over the top. It's a little difficult to see but it sort of harkens back to being pregnant. Um, 
get the zipper in there and zip up about that far. So you've got some, some extra coverage back here if you want to pull the scarf up that way, um, if the wind is blowing behind you, but baby's not covered. You'd put a nice hat on baby, make sure you can still see their face the same as before. Oh, we have a lot of glare. Hang on. There, I think that's slightly better. Um, but this way you and baby are both warm. The other thing that having a common coat does for you instead of having layers on baby is it lets you better monitor their temperature. It also lets them share your body heat because you're going to be doing most of the work of walking outside. You're going to produce extra body heat, which will help keep the baby warm. They don't need 14 layers. Plus, you can't tell if they're overheating um, if they're in lots of layers and then still getting some amount of extra body heat from you. Another reason we don't want to have um, all the layers underneath is kind of similar to not putting layers on your um, baby in the car seat. You don't want it to create bulk uh, that you can't really adjust the carrier properly for. So it's important to put the carrier on first and then uh, put baby in the carrier first and then put the warm layers around you so that you have a really nice fit. There are other options. Um, this one happens to be a funny sort of mm, sold for yoga hoodie sweatshirt that has a hole in the back <laughs> um, that I can wear, use for back wearing with uh, my daughter who's quite a bit bigger. Um, it's not actually a baby wearing uh, accessory, but it works for it. This is another type of cover that slips over and you can tie it on with strings. There are lots of brands of these. Um, I'm not going to get into brands too, too much. We'll talk about those over on Becca Community later on if you want to jump in there. Uh, but I wanted to give you an idea of some of the options. Um, there are also vests and pullovers and things. Um, this is a kind of funny one-shouldered one that goes over this way and then pulls down over the carrier and covers one shoulder and leaves the other one free. So this is good for an intermediate temperature, so fall or spring, but maybe not nine feet of snow in Boston. <laughs> when it does get really snowy and really cold, then you may want to consider, especially if you live in a cold um, place like I do, and you're going to want to back carry. Um, that's the hardest part, is back carrying. Front carrying is, is fairly easy for cold weather. Um, back carrying, there are special coats. Um, this one happens to be a special coat that's no longer available, but for front carries, it has a little um, extra panel. And then if I wanted to wear it afterwards, if I were dropping off my child at um, daycare or whatnot, then I can zip uh, button it instead. See over here? With the, there's buttonholes here. So that when I don't have a baby in there, it fits um, also. There are 15 or 20 different brands that I know of that make baby wearing coats. Um, so you can check out your local baby wearing group and see if they have some you can try on. Um, ask on Beck Immunity the ones that people like the best. And uh, there's lots of great things you can try there. Um, let's see. Those are the, the, oh, walking in cold weather. So baby wearing when it's cold is fairly easy. Baby wearing when it's icy is a whole other story. You want to be sure that you have proper footing if you go out. Um, <laughs> there are things called yak tracks, which are sort of metal spiky grippy things that you can put on your shoes to help you get better traction. It's really a matter of being very careful. Um, here in Boston, when it gets really snowy, it's really impossible to get your um, stroller down a sidewalk because they're just not wide enough anymore. They aren't plowed well and things like that. So baby wearing is a better option if you have to go out, but you do have to be very careful. I happen to have on Crocs at the moment, which would be terrible shoes for baby wearing in the snow. Uh, some people might think they're terrible shoes anyway, but I find them very comfortable, but not in the snow. Um, even things that you may feel like have good traction, um, you need to be doubly sure because it changes your center of gravity with baby on. Um, so if there are a couple of questions that you guys want to ask, I'd be more than happy to take those now. And then we can chat some more over on the Beckle forum. I see no questions. Did I break Periscope? Alright folks, 
I hope everybody has learned a few good things. Um, remember, you want to put take care of, of baby's extremities. Don't put anything too close to their face. And put the coat over both you and the baby. What do I do in parking lots? Um, it depends on how cold it is. It's, uh, the ring sling actually is a really nice option that you can, if you can sneak in the car beside baby's car seat, you can pop baby in the ring sling really easily because you don't have to reach behind you and then pull your coat on over you. Sometimes I just try to hurry. Um, front carries are, are faster than back carries, so it's not too, too bad. Um, so baby wear their own jacket. It's okay to wear a really light jacket, like a single layer fleece jacket or something like that, but you don't want to go too heavy. If you go too heavy, it's bulky underneath the carrier and you can't get it nice and snug. Um, it would leave space and then you wouldn't have a, a good fit. Baby would be floppy. All right, folks, thank you so much. I had a great time talking with you tonight and I'll catch you over on the back community.